Do you have a stand-up paddleboard and have to use one of these? This is the Nexi Ventus electric pump, and we're gonna give it a try and see how fast it'll blow up our inflatables, and we'll see if our little Jackery 240 is up for the job. Let's go over the basics. It comes with this carrying case, which has a nice shoulder strap. Fits in the bag pretty well. It actually has extra space. They do sell a battery pack. And then all the tubes, hoses, and cords are inside. We have cables that can attach to a battery. Hose, which is actually fairly good size. It has seven nozzles. We use this one for our stand-up paddleboard and kayak. It also has another nozzle that could be for a different style. A few different nozzles for inflatable toys. So to get to its power, it does have a 12 volt that you can plug into your car, but it does require 10 amps to use this. Plenty of cord to get from your car to your paddle. So plenty long. We really do like the feature that you can wrap the cord back up and then the plug has a place to go. So it stores away really nicely. It's smaller than a bread box and weighs just about four pounds. There are a lot of different electric pumps out on the market, but we have multiple um, flotation devices. So we wanted something that had a built-in cooling fan and so it doesn't overheat. You notice it has two ports, one to, for inflating and one for deflating. This unit can pump up to 20 PSI, has a digital display. We can do PSI or bar. Here it has the plus and minus where you can set your PSI, what you need. And over here, this readout is when you start it, it will tell you where you are at in the inflation. Let's push start. It does have an auto shut off to the um, amount that you have set it to. If you're interested in this pump, there's affiliate links in the description below. Helps us out, it doesn't cost you anything. Now let's get to testing. We have a kayak and a paddleboard. We got our paddleboard from Costco. It's by Body Glove. We got this two years ago. It's very popular. Our Sea Eagle is the 473 RL, which is the Razor Light Tandem Kayak. We've had this for two and a half years now. We are going to pump them up and see how long it takes. You absolutely don't need an electric pump. You can definitely use the one that it comes with. The paddleboard has one spot to pump up, but the kayak has three. Each side has its own chamber and the bottom as well. We're gonna use our Jackery 240 as our power source. We're gonna take the 12 volt and plug it in. This has a display and it is at 99%. So we will see how much juice it uses up. Get that in, turn it on. You can hear that it's going. Get that on here. The paddle board takes 15 PSI. So we're going to adjust it to 15 and let's get started. So the paddle board took seven minutes, 39 seconds, which is pretty respectable. While you jump out of your car, plug this in, while it's pumping up, you could be putting your sunscreen on and getting your life jackets ready. The paddle board used up, uh, so it went from 99% to 94%, which is hardly anything. The one downfall of these electric pumps is that once it hits the high pressure mode, it does get loud. Low mode, not so bad. So if you are pumping up next to a family having a picnic, they might not like it, but at least it'll be only maybe seven minutes. The kayak sides only actually take 10 PSI, but again, there are three individual sections. And for the kayak, we're gonna see how long it takes to do all three chambers. Let's change the setting to 10. It ran into a little problem. The nozzle that we need for our boat had this thicker rubber-like seal on it. So we had to take it off of this one and put it on so it would actually fit. This, this one is like half the size. So it'll easily go in now. It took roughly seven minutes, 16 seconds, and that included us messing around with the hoses. So if you take into account, take that part out, each side probably was about two minutes each. So six minutes, not too bad. Let's check the Jackery. It went from 94% down to 90. So very minimal use of battery. 
It does come with a deflate option. We don't actually ever use that. And we're going to use it on the paddle board. We're going to push the button, let the majority of the air out, and then we'll add this to it and get the rest of it out. It kind of seems like a pointless feature, but who knows? Let's give it a try. This is the sound of the low pressure pump, so it's not terrible. Oh yeah, it's sucking it out pretty good. It's actually pretty flat. So instead of having to roll it up and pushing it as you roll it up and push it out, it just took a minute and a half. It's pretty pancaked out. Don't know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. And you can hear the, um, the cooling fan inside of it. Besides the high noise volume on the high pressure mode, this has worked out really well for us so far. And I think that it is, it's been a very good purchase. Watch this video next and come follow us on TikTok. You can find out more about us on exploretrekadventure.com and we'll see you next time.